Hi, my name's Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. I'm continuing on my series of cards from the upcoming 2021 catalog. It's fabulous. If you don't have one yet and you don't have a demonstrator that will be sending you one, let me know. If you've never gotten a catalog before from Stampin' Up! then I'm happy to send you a free one. All you have to do is let me know your address. You do need to be in the United States. If you haven't gotten one from me, then you will be getting one if you've made a purchase from me since February. If you haven't, then just hop on my website and make any size purchase just to let me know that you haven't been purchasing from another demonstrator. Um, and as soon as I see that you're still purchasing from me, then you'll get one as soon as I get mine and I make the little fun welcome packets that go in them. And in addition, in May, if you make a purchase from me, then you get my free May class, which you can see what that is on my website. And you also get to come to our free, fabulous, it's gonna be so much fun event on the 22nd. It's an online event and it's me and six other of the demonstrators in my group who are all fabulous stampers. It's an all day online event. If you can't be live for it, you can go back. It'll be on online for a couple of weeks and watch all of everybody's new ideas. We're all working furiously to have a whole bunch of fun things for you to do. There'll be a ton of door prizes, a lot of samples, a lot of just chit chat and just a whole lot of fun stuff stuff and we all stamp some differently which is fun because then you get to see a lot of different styles for this card i'm going to do blossoms in bloom and it's a bundle um it comes with really big dies like this i'm not using this one it's a two-piece die thing that kind of matches up love this style of stamp it's one of my favorites and i also love this stamp set that it has some very simple words that aren't you know all cutesy or you know, roundabout ways of saying things. It's just flat out thinking of you. Happy birthday. Um, get well soon, which is the one I'm going to put on this card. But even though I'm going to use get well soon, we may do this card at my camp in June. Um, and you could just easily switch it out with any of the sayings. But you'll, um, you could kind of do the same kind of card that I'm going to do if you didn't have the stamps and just use this for your background piece. A little bit different. I'm going to use the Stamparatus. And Let's see. I might do that. I'm going to do the die pieces first simply because I can get the big shot off the table and it doesn't matter what um, order you do them in. So let's get first. I'm going to use if you saw my bird card, you saw me use this in a different kind of way. I'm going to use it first just because I used it last when I made my other card. So it's already set up for this. But this is the old world paper. It comes from one of the other new suites in the catalog but I didn't put it through the dye machine on that one. So you'll wanna watch how I used it there. I didn't want it to be quite so crinkly, but for this cart, I want lots of texture. So it works perfectly for this. I haven't used the old world paper suite yet. It's still sitting here. He didn't catch my, it was, I call it an unboxing video just cause there's nothing else to really call it. Look how fun this is. It gets it all crinkle crinkle. Um, but I'm not quite sure. And now I see that that is the upside down. I think I used it this way because I like the handmade paper look that it gives. But my unboxing video, for lack of a better name, I had already unboxed before I did it. Because um, of COVID, I wanted to make sure everything was clean. And then I washed my hands before I did the video. But everything's all still kind of lined up where I did it. So I still have a couple of sweets that I have not touched at all. And they're sitting here behind me, staring at me like, use me, use me. And then I'll go back and start some of the others again. Cause like you can't get all the paper or all the embellishments. So here's the other piece to the other one. The other one cuts like a bold design. This cuts a really fine outline. It's beautiful. And I really wanted to use the black foil paper and we no longer have that. So that was my first, like, oh, black foil will be beautiful. And I remembered, oh, we don't have it. So I didn't use it. I'm just using plain black guard stock. It cuts out really well. Leave all those pieces there. Now I can get this out of the way. So it doesn't really matter what order you're going. I didn't do this first because I didn't know what my cart was going to look like. I did find it worked well to just put it on here. Because any of these ones that are fine, if you leave them in the die and press this through, then you're less likely to kind of break any of those little pieces because you see it's really fine. And then just pop it out. Because it's super, super thin. 
gonna knock these off into my trash because my studio is getting more and more trashed as I just keep creating and don't stop for two seconds to pick up anything. Does anybody else do that? Because I'm like, oh, one more card and then I'll, then I'll clean up. But the then I'll clean up hasn't happened yet. If you don't have a take your pick tool, then you need to get one because you can use them for a whole lot of things. But this tip here, especially on the pieces like this, you can see it's getting the flower centers out really well. And you want all of those out for sure because it shows the color through. Look how pretty this is. I'll lay it here so you can see it. You could almost just do a card with this. Simple black and white. But who wants to stop there? But look, you could just put this on that and you could practically be done. But we're not going to do that because, you know, I got new stamps. I got to use them. And that's super simple little die. So now we're, but this card is really easy. You're gonna be shocked how easy it is for the amount that, for what it looks like. Cause it looks like somebody took a whole lot of time. So the reason I pulled my Stamparatus out, um, let me tell you, cause that's, <laughs> the card changed in my head because it was sitting on the table and my larger blocks, the stamp takes one of the big size blocks. I was gonna have to get up and get them. And I'm like, well, my Stamparatus is sitting right here. And I um, can just use it. So if you have the Stamparatus, then you don't have to have the big blocks. I have big blocks, but mine was sitting here. So once I had it on the Stamparatus, I decided I could use multiple colors. So once I decided I could use multiple colors, I'm just gonna stick a little bit of adhesive to hold this in place. Then I decided the colors of my sweatshirt, which I don't know if you can see all the way up, um, those were the colors I pulled out and it actually did make a pretty card. Where'd I put it? Because once you have the Stamparatus, you can do multiple colors. This is the second one, but it was looking a little bit too fall for me. And I wanted something bright that was a little bit more springy. So this may come back into play and I may do something with it later. It just wasn't the mood I was in because the sun's shining and it looks beautiful and springy. Yeah. And that was just a little bit too... Like we should be picking pumpkins or something. So I went with these colors instead. So I'm gonna start with Flirty Flamingo, but I hadn't intended to do multiple colors. That happened because I had my Stamparatus and you can do that with this. So I'm gonna ink the whole thing in Flirty Flamingo. And this is cut, it's just a piece of Whisper White. And I actually, after I made the card, <laughs> and then I cut it down. It was all glued together. I'm doing that a lot this week um, because I wanted more of my background to show. So this one I'm going to cut before I mount it on my card. So just get the flirty flamingo. So it doesn't really matter how big your thing is. I'm gonna put a little bit more in the places that I missed, which you can do with your Stamparatus. I, this is my favorite look of stamps. I just love this kind of watercolor wash look. Okay, so now we have this. Now I'm going to go, I have two, two more colors, Poppy Parade and Melon Mambo. I really wish that I had our new magenta, but I don't, so that's okay. We'll work with what we got. So on this stamp, this flower here, and you can use daubers, you can use smaller ink pads. And then a little bit here, I'm gonna kind of drag it in here. You can get a better impression of ink so it doesn't have these like little lines on it. For this one, it doesn't matter because that lovely thing that we just made is gonna cover it up. So it, it's gonna have a little bit of lines but you don't notice it so much. And then I'm gonna take the um, Melon Mambo and up here at the top, these three flowers up here are gonna have some, so just kind of drag some color. You don't wanna color the, cover the whole thing because you want that flamingo to show through. And you'll see what I mean about having some lines, but I can live with it because it was easier than getting the colors that I need. But now it gives it a nice floral. And just press. And if you miss anywhere, you want some more colors or some more layers of color, you can add them. Do a little bit more. Let's 
some more melon there. And give this one to be a stronger poppy. There you go. Now you can see we have the different layers and you can keep going. And this dries a little bit lighter than what it looks now. But we'll give this one. One more you can see the two that I keep hitting. And as it dries, you'll be surprised how much lighter the colors get. And maybe this one right here, we'll give some on the edges. It gets a little addicting actually. You can just keep playing with it and you're like, yeah stop it's fun to do on any of the like our fall trees or the ones where you can keep adding layers of fall colors winter woods is a really fun one to do it with so there we go so pull that out and in fact you could stick just keep going um i usually clean it off i'm not going to clean it off you can see where i just took this before and i just stuck that in there the other thing that's going away, which I really like, is our little stamp cleaner. I don't think that people really knew what it was, but it's a little stamp cleaner and it takes that pink tinge off your stamps. And I liked mine because I liked the pink tinge to leave. It didn't take it all the way away. Um, and here's some mango that comes with this fun little center stamp, but that is retiring. I'm just gonna stamp these twice in here. If you were gonna leave this to be the focal point of your card once in the center would work well. But I found that when I laid that over the top to get them to hit exactly where I was laying them, it worked better to have two of these in. So now we have some centers. And then I'm going to take the get well soon. I just have black. Let's stamp this right here. I can't see because I'm not sticking my head over the top. I got it. I don't like me in, so I'm gonna go over here. That's what happens when you have some scrap paper. I'm gonna cut this apart. You probably wonder what the heck is she doing? That time I got the end. You can see this is already starting to lighten up. Anytime inks are wet, it makes sense that they're dark and as they dry, they get a little lighter. Some colors, like the Blushing Bride, some colors do it a whole bunch and other colors don't do it as much. But because this had multiple layers of ink, it will dry a lot darker, I mean a lot lighter. So trim this out, but I don't want it to be white. But if you're, especially if you're starting out and you don't have all of our colors of cardstock, you might have some of the colors of the blends. So if you have any of these colors of blends, which it just so happens that I have some of them, I got the mango one. You could do the same thing with the stamp pad, but the blends give a nice even color and you wouldn't even know that I haven't stamped this on the um, mango cardstock when it dries. It'll just look like I just stamped on mango. And then I have a nice little strip here. So we'll let that dry a second. And then this is the part that I did after I'd already stuck that on before. It's gonna be much easier to cut this out because when it was done, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just, I wanted more of that um, old world paper dye to shine through, but you don't have to be perfect. And then, um, Black outlines are gonna to stick just to these flowers. So by getting this up around, then every place else, you'll be able to see that paper and not this plain paper. Because who wants to see plain white paper if you can see something fun? So just quickly, you can see it's getting lighter and lighter because these were kind of dark. They didn't even look flamingo-ish but now they are, but it's just because I'd stamped a couple of times of color. There you go. 
Now to adhere this, I'm gonna go back and grab this piece of paper that I stuck in here. This is super fine and we do have the adhesive sheets coming back, but I don't think that I would even use the adhesive sheets because I would take a giant piece of it for this. They are in the new catalog. So all I did was I flipped this over. I took our two-way blue pen and you don't need a lot of it because this is super sticky and just take a tiny bit and just kind of like rub it through, especially if you get these centers here. So start with those. And of course it's not gonna go through the holes of the middle and you only want it to stick down to the flower parts, not these, the leaves or the other things because those don't even have anything they're going over. There are stamps that will go under those um, and I will do another one because I started to with this because I thought you're going to need the Stamparatus. If you want to line those up perfectly, you could make a whole little Stamparatus template that you could keep in with your stamp case. So you'll be able to go back and line those up later. But then I thought, no, I like my card the way it is. I want it simple and I want that old world paper to show through. So I didn't need it for that one. But you know, this green glue is super, super sticky. So you just need a little bit and you don't need it on the whole thing. Just enough that it's going to stick. That's plenty. I'm going to get just a tad tacky. Here's my white card base. And then my old world paper is cut the full size of a card front. I could use my green glue since I have it, but just stick this in here. We are getting new adhesives if you haven't watched my videos. So that's why I'm using Fuse because we're getting a Fuse like product back. That's better than Fuse. So now we have that there. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this onto my card. So it's easier to stick this without that gluey stuff on the other side. Ask me how I know. over and then you just want to line up these centers once you start lining up the centers then everything else kind of lines up and then you can just press down because now that glue is just tacky and not now you can see through all of these places my um, old world paper is shining through and not the silly plain white paper. I just get my get well soon, which could be happy birthday or any of the other sayings that we have. And just stick it, you can stick it really wherever you want. Um, this little piece right here worries me that it might get stuck on an envelope. So that was, I just kind of held it down with this. And if you feel like any, that has a little bit of glue there. So just kind of go and once that glue's tacky, if you do it right away, then it might mush, but it just takes a second for no more than we had. So there you go. Here's one that has lightened all the way up, but this one's starting to get lighter. So this card kind of looks like you took a, a really long time to make it. It doesn't take long at all. And it's, I think it's a really dramatic effect. So I hope you enjoy that. I'm going to try to get one more card filmed so I have one to go all over the weekend, but we'll see. It's getting close to time that I really need to get going on something else, but I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy all these new products. Again, if you need a catalog, let me know, and you do want to do our Facebook event, so make sure that you check out my um, website to find out about how you can watch that. Everybody have a great Saturday. Bye.